Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to learn more about React Query and we are going to convert this into this. As you saw, it saves us a lot of time and efforts and lines of code, of course. So you're gonna learn how to use React Query by creating an example application with me. We are going to fetch random meal from the MealDB API and display it in the browser. If this is your first time watching. My name is Yusman. I'm a self-taught developer and I make tutorials about web development topics. I recommend you to subscribe if you want to learn more about that. Let's now open VS Code and start creating this application from scratch. I have installed a brand new project with MPX Create React App and as you can see, I'm running it on my localhost 3000 right here. And now the first thing we are going to do is we are going to open another tab and we're going to type React Query version 3. After that, we will open the official website and we're going to click on Get Started and we're going to click on Installation. Here we can do it either via npm or with yarn i'm going to use npm option so i'm going to copy this and you can uh, you can also import it with the uh, cdn script if you want but we will install it as a package and then uh, i'm going to come back into my uh, folder application folder and i'm going to open one more terminal right here and i will navigate into my project folder and then i'm going to paste this command so it's going to be npm install react query and this is going to install the react query package and we can immediately see that our package.json file was modified that means that it was installed and we will also install axios for fetching the data so i'm going to say npm install axios and with that we are ready and now we can see how we can utilize react query if we click on quick start, we will see we have an example how we have to achieve this. First, we have to import the query client and query client provider. Uh, they are using also other stuff, use mutation, use query and use query. Uh, but we will not use use mutation in this example. We will just uh, use use query to fetch the data and refetch it afterwards. So let's let's do that. Let's now uh, go to uh, index.js, our entry file, and let's import, I'm going to say from React query. And the, those, those two things that I'm going to import are query, uh, query client provider and query client. So I'm going to say query client, just like this. And if we look at the example, we have to initialize so I'm going to copy this command, create a new client. So I'm going to paste it right, uh, right below the root. Uh, so const query client equals new query client. And we have to wrap our app with the query client provider. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to say cli uh, query client provider. And I will wrap my application with it. And I will pass the, how was it? Uh, client so I'm gonna say client and that's gonna equal our query client just like this okay with that we are able to use everything from react query in our components because we have wrapped our app with it now I'm gonna close this file and I'm gonna open app.js and I will delete everything inside the header because we will start creating the mini app, which will fetch data from the uh, MealDB API. So I'm gonna say uh, the, meal, the MealDB, uh, MealDB.com, I think it was, yes. So I can navigate into API, API and here we can uh, search for the URL we are going to use. So we are going to use uh, look a single random meal, this one. So I'm going to copy it and I'm going to return. And now, first of all, we're going to create the method which is going to fetch the data and we will pass that as a second argument to use query hook from React Query. So I'm going to say const data or handle how do, how do we call this? Uh, fetch data 
handler, okay? Fetch data handler, and that's gonna be a function. And what we're gonna do, we will import Axios. So I'm gonna say Axios from Axios, okay? And we're gonna just return, we're gonna say return Axios dot get, and we're gonna pass this URL right here. That's gonna return a promise. Then we're gonna say res, and we're gonna say res.data, just like this. With that, we can continue further. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at an example, how, how they achieve that, okay? So we can go to queries, and we can see how they are using use query hook from React Query. So we have to initialize a constant and we can set that to use query and we give it we give it a unique key for identifier and we pass the function that we created. Okay. Um, yeah, here is an example of how a uh, clear example, like we can also extract other stuff like is loading, is error, data, error. Uh, and then we can use them to determine what we are returning. And we are going to use this example right here. So first of all, let's uh, return and let's say const uh, not from equals. So we're going to say use query. Okay, but we need to import it first. So I'm going to say import from react query, so use query, use query from react query. And so it's gonna be use query. And here, uh, like we like it's uh, already suggesting me, um, we have to say the key. So I'm gonna say nil for the key. And I will pass the fetch data handler as a second argument to fetch the data. Now we can extract all the necessary stuff. For example, is error, is loading, data, the data which is going to return from the fetch. And also we can say error, or, or you, can, you, can, you can observe everything that this use query uh, returns to you and you can utilize it. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna say if, if is loading, okay, then we're gonna say return uh, paragraph. So let's say paragraph, not P. I hate my keyboard sometimes. It's uh, so loading, okay. Then we're gonna say uh, if uh, is error, we will uh, return a paragraph. So paragraph and here we will output the error error dot just error for the moment. Let's see what that is. And we can inside the app. Now we're gonna create um we're gonna create an H5. Okay, that's gonna be the meal name. Uh, and then we will have the image. So here we have an image. And we will have a button. And that button will say, get another meal, okay? And now, pretty much, um, we can console log first of all, the data to see what we have. So I'm gonna say console log data is data. And I'm gonna save now. And let's open, it's open. So you can see it's still loading right here. So let's inspect and let's, let's see. Uh, objects are not valid key. Okay, we have an error and this is because We have an axial error for fetching the data.
okay okay I got it well we can say for the moment just error and let's see now okay not found oh I see I see why I see why because we have to add HTTPS right here okay now if we go back uh, we're gonna say we have another error right here data is undefined okay okay because I, ha I said rest that day data actually my bad let's let's see now if we fetch we see data is meals and we have an array with one element containing our information okay now we can continue and we can see um, here for h5 we can say um, let's see let's see once again so if I refetch we can say data is meals so we can directly then come back right here and say rest that data that meals and with that we will get the meal directly and when I say when I refresh now it will be just data is and the array we will exclude that meals key so let's do that now and you can see data is and we have the array directly okay so we can come back right here and we can see what we are going to utilize from from that so we will need the str meal so i'm going to come back and i'm going to say h5 uh, data from zero str meal just like this and once i see, reload we can see the uh, the name of the meal and we will have an image source and that's going to be uh, str mail thump from here so I'm gonna say source to equal data from zero because it's an array and we're gonna say str mail thump just like this and we need to provide also alt because otherwise it's complaining and with that we will see now the image of the of the soup okay and now we can see that whenever I, I, I refresh, I re remount the app, we can see it's fetching again. Uh, and we can proceed with the rest now. What's going to happen when we click the button? Well, we are going to refetch the data. But if you remember in uh, the old way with use effect, you would have to create a method let's say with use call back and you do the thing like uh, fetch the data set the state etc and then you will have to include it in a use effect so that it can be evaluated again once you click the button with react query this is different and it's different because we can uh, get one more thing from the use query which is refetch and this refetch thing is going to refetch the data again so to demonstrate this we can say on click and I'm gonna say equal on click equals refetch just like this and now if I save and come back to the browser and I click the button you can see that it's fetching again the information but as you saw we are saving us time and lines of code to achieve refetching of the meal this is why i think use query is better and all the developers that are working with data like they have they have to fetch data in their app uh, it's better to use use query and it's better to dive into documentation and explore what are the 
offered APIs by React Query because I think it's a very, very nice thing. So now we can continue. We can continue working further. We are getting our data. Maybe we can step into styling this app and finish it. So let's open our app.css and quickly, quickly, quickly delete everything right here. And let's see app. Let's give this width of 100% and height of 100VH and uh, let's say display flex align item center and justify content center and flex direction column okay for the image let's say width um, how much 300 pixels height 300 pixels okay also let's give a background color so i'm going to say background color hexadecimal f4 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 um, border radius 5 pixels all right let's give it a margin of 20 pixels top and bottom and zero left and right for the button font size to be 19 19 pixels um, border radius to be 5 pixels width of 300 pixels padding to be 10 pixels uh, what else font weight to be bold um, background color to be red and color to be white let's see if we save everything we can see that we have the shape so I can click get other meal we are getting another meal then that cool and let's also style the h5 so I'm gonna say h5 font size of 36 pixels let's see now we can see that our mini application is looking better and we just learned how to fetch data using use query. Isn't that amazing? Um, with that, I think we are done for today and you can explore this further. Like you can dive into the documentation of uh, use query and see what it offered by this library I think it's amazing in my opinion and I encourage you to uh, learn using it and start using it because it saves you time and efforts as you saw thank you so much for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it if you did enjoy it make sure you subscribe to the channel hit the like button and if you want to motivate me more of course you can become a patron of the channel I'll put the link down below in the description below the video Thank you again and see you again in the future.